From low-leveled poisoning monsters whose main drop is bronze armor, to worthless high-leveled monsters that will always give you bones if they aren't killed over water first, we count down 10 horrible slayer tasks you'll wish you'd never get, but most likely will anyway. Number 10. Crocodiles Found in the Caridian Desert south of Paul Nivnich, these are one of the worst slayer tasks ever. Not because they are hard to kill, because they're actually quite easy, but they drop absolutely nothing, and more often than not, you will most likely end up killing this monster while it's sitting on water, making it to where you won't even get a drop almost always anyway. You'll need water skin since you're in the desert, and some patience at that too, because these monsters will completely ignore your need to want to kill them, and oftentimes swim to the other side of the river, rendering your attacks impossible until they decide to swim back towards you. Number 9. Cave Slimes they're only 23 combat, and they require only level 17 to slay, but honestly, even at a low level, I'd prefer fighting metal dragons over these things. They inflict poison damage regardless of whether or not they do damage to you, and the amount of money you'll spend to buy anti-poison potions to fight these guys will never be made back by these things because one of their rarest drops is iron boots. <laughs> And to top it all off, they only give you 25 Slayer experience points apiece. No thank you, Jagex. Number 8, Rock Slugs. Once you've got these things down to 4 HP, you have to use a bag of salt on them, and it's the only way to kill them. They'll give you 27 Slayer experience points each kill, and the only thing these guys really ever drop is one unnoted ore, most commonly iron and coal. You might get white mystic gloves from these things also, but it's a 1 out of 512 drop rate, so good luck with that. Number 7, Dwarfs. That's right, dwarfs can actually be given out as slayer tasks. Giving you 16 slayer experience points each, having level 10 combat, and their rarest drop being two nature runes, these have got to be one of the most pointless slayer tasks ever. And perhaps the worst thing about all these guys is that they wield steel pickaxes, but sadly, and for some unknown reason, the best thing you'll ever get from one of them is a bronze pickaxe. Or an iron one. Number 6, Ice Fiends. They're level 13 and have 15 HP and hit very accurately if your combat level is below at least level 60. Their rarest drop is an easy level clue scroll, and their most common drop is 1 to 30 coins or an iron plate body. They'll only give you 15 Slayer experience points, and honestly, I don't even know what else to say about these things. Uh, they suck. I mean, <laughs> the ones in the wilderness drop the ecumenical key, but, you know, who really wants to go to the wilderness? Number 5, Hellhounds. Unless you plan on fighting these guys with range or a cannon, you're going to be spending a lot of money on prayer potions for protection from melee, and that money will never be made back. And if you use a cannon, you're going to be more in debt after you've done this task. They literally only drop bones and have a 1 in 64 chance of dropping a hard clue scroll too, but let's be honest, the odds of you getting anything from a hard clue scroll anyway is quite little even at that. Number 4, Infernal Mages. Often neglected due to their low chance of dropping their rarest drops, which is Dark Mystic Boots or a Dark Mystic Hat. These guys aren't really worth more than the death runes they drop, but even that, they only drop 7, commonly. <laughs> they use a weaker version of the spell Fire Blast against you, and if you're a low level who doesn't know enough to wear good range armor or magic armor against these guys, you will be hit pretty often. Number 3, Monkeys. From regular Karamjin monkeys all the way up to the different types of monkeys on Apatol that you can turn into with a Monkey Grigri, you're better off fighting the regular Karamjin monkeys and getting this task out of the way, because let's be honest, who the hell wants to go back to Apatol upon the completion of the Monkey Madness quest? Also, this goes without saying, but if you're planning on getting anything from these Karamjin monkeys other than just monkey bones that give a tiny bit more prayer experience than regular bones, well, my friend, your hopes and dreams are going to be crushed. Number 2, Werewolves. Transforming from human to beast, these are probably one of the worst slayer tasks out there. Even though their level 88 combat suggests they are strong, their defense is actually pretty low. These guys can be found at Canifis, and the best drop you're going to get from them is a rune medhelm, but in all honesty, you'll probably get raw beef, wolf fur, a jug of wine, or a steel scimitar commonly. Happy hunting! Number 1, Cows. With a mighty combat of level 2, these things can give you 8 Slayer experience points for each one you kill, and to be honest, I didn't even know you could get cows as a Slayer task before I made this video. I would say that their cow hides could be useful, but honestly, if you're assigned to kill maybe 60 of these things, would you really waste your time putting effort into banking 60 cow hides? I'm afraid I'll have to let that 12k go. 
That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should be counting down next, post it in the comments and let's make it happen. Thank you guys for 13,000 subscribers, I'll talk to you all later.